Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Tour Edge C723 driver which is quite possibly the most adjustable player's driver on the market. This low spin bomber is absolutely loaded with tech. Or that's what it tells us on the website as I've just read from. So you'll see that on screen guys we are testing this driver out here that does say we'll hit bombs. We are testing it with Dave who wants it bombs, but low spin isn't Ooh. something we want to hear Low spin is not my friend. We want the opposite. We want to see a little bit more spin. So we've done a few things because they say it is the most adjustable driver, and it certainly is. So as you'll see on screen, we've got a lot of options of the way we can change it. We can change the weight systems from front to back to get a little bit higher launch. We can also change it fade or draw bias, which as we know for Dave, and you will see in previous weeks, <laughs> Dave has been missing a lot of golf balls to the left. And we have been working on that with his technique and his lessons, but also we've been trying to get a driver that does that. We found that with the TSR1, we got the distance. We still saw, even with the most fade bias driver you could possibly get, it still went left. Hey, takes Dave, a certain amount of skill to do that. Dave you know? can do all sorts to get the <laughs> ball to go left. And this is where, whatever you do with the driver and how much ever you pay, it still does come down to technique. So if you could get the most fade bias driver, if you still put a swing path that works out to the right with a closed face, Unfortunately, the golf ball is still going to go left, as Dave keeps proving yep. time and time again. Can I fail the laws of physics? No, you can't. So we're going to test this driver out because it has been one that has been requested. We will show you all the pictures of it on screen. It's a very different looking driver, as you'll see straight away there. A very different look on the top. Dave's going to have a first glance of that in a second because he hasn't looked at that as of yet. And we're also going to be testing this against the other drivers, so you'll see the numbers at the end how it compares carry and total wise, and we'll see if we can get enough spin for Dave. Price wise, this is coming in at around about 400 pounds. So we know that is cheaper than the previous drivers we've looked at. So the Paradigms, the Stealth, over 500 pounds. Instantly, Dave, how does it look for 100 pounds or more than 150 pounds cheaper? It looks really different. I've never seen a driver that has that sort of pattern on the top. It's sort oh, of a carbon a weave that's got a, a sort of T-shape on top of it. So if you put that behind the ball, Dave, you can see what they are trying yeah. to do here is they are trying to help you with alignment. So try and get that which pointing is, which is good. up the fairway. And we've seen that in a lot of putters. Like you use a triple track putter, I do. Dave. Yeah. And that's something that has helped you with alignment. And we know on the golf course, sometimes you've struggled with alignment. Yes. As well as a lot of other things. It's not sometimes, Chris. Yes, it's the majority of the time. So we can see the PXG is there, what we've just tested. But we're going to get in and get some numbers now. So straight away on track, man, we want to see the numbers from this driver. We've seen the looks. I'm going to talk through the technology as Dave hits away with a first shot with this club. So, first shot up here, we've got this set, this driver set up exactly like the other drivers. We've got 12 degrees on there. We've got the weight back to try and get this launching nice and high. Fade bias to get rid of Dave's left. And that has launched straight up the middle. Yeah. We both sound surprised. I don't know why, Dave. Well. So it's launched up the middle with a little bit of draw. A nice carry there of 170 yards running out to 220. So not the longest carry, Dave, again. Feel wise and sound? Uh, sound. It's just nice. It's fine. It's absolutely bob on. In really. comparison to last week, does it sound better than the PXG? We know yeah, it's double it's, the price, the PXG. It's not, it's not as loud as the PXG. It's um, a duller sound, I'd say. So we know, obviously, like Dave's mentioned there, it is. It doesn't, it sounds a little bit duller, so it doesn't sound as loud, which is something again where we see when it is a higher price, double the price of the PXG. <laughs> Launching up the middle, a good shot there, 88 miles an hour, so similar to his others, 175 yards carry and 120 total again, so very consistent from those two shots. We mentioned about, obviously, the technology in this driver. We've got the 360 Ridgeback technology, which is what we talked about with Dave talking That's about alignment. That's why it's got that T-shape on the top. Correct creates incredible sound and feel and contributes to the super high MOI. So going for forgiveness, that's what it has got on there. We've got quad carbon technology, which is lightweight carbon in four places. You're not gonna believe where this has gone, Chris. Moves the weight to boost MOI and create amazing forgiveness. 
And you'll see on the screen there, Dave has, we've done everything we can to get Dave to hit it right. And you'll see has done there. So 186 yards carry, 226 total. And up the right hand side, which we've never seen before Dave in the last three weeks. It's a very rare breed. So we talk about the being double price of the PX3 driver last week. We can see he also has a diamond face which produces faster ball speeds from all parts of the face. And that's trying to get your ball speed and distance and carry and everything we want from Dave up. One thing we do see is that it does certainly have lower spin. Ah, that's more that's usual. One of Dave's usual, he was giddy about hitting one right and he's hit one there, which is down the left. More speed, carried 152, gone to 211, but very low spinning and might have run out of the fairway. We've got a lot of adjustability here with this club. You'll see on the screen club specifications on the Tour Edge website. There is a lot of options. We can adjust these drivers. So like you say, we can change lofts. We can change the lies on there. And we know that's going to affect your ball flight. And we know that is what we want to be able to do with a driver for this kind of price. Another one up the middle there. Not a lot of Dave. carry, I don't think, though. Not a lot of carry. Very low. Mm. 160, gone 214. So if we look at the group of that, so we can see dispersion there. We've got one 40 yards out to the right, which has never been seen from Dave. We've got three <laughs> very compact in the fairway up the right-hand side, and we've got one just off the fairway on the left. But the front-to-back dispersion is much better than last week with the PXG driver, as you can see on the screen now, we saw a big variation in that front to back. We also saw when we go to more premium drivers, the front to back dispersion with the TSR was closer, but the Paradigm was one that Dave struggled with as well. So we've got a lot of good things in this driver. With it being 100 pounds cheaper than your TSR and your Paradigm, it's a great option on there. One thing that holds this driver back, Dave, is what? Fitting. And that's exactly correct from Dave. We, there is nowhere that I have seen, and it doesn't give you the option on the website to get fitted for this driver. So it is very much straight to consumer. And we've got some irons to test against Dave's actually straight to consumer Tacoma irons. With a driver with all this adjustability, you don't know which weights where you should put them if you haven't had many fittings. You also don't know how it sounds or feels or looks to you. You could put that driver down and not like the technology that's in there. And that's a big thing when it comes to driver fitting. But you can see there, 100 pounds cheaper, performed front to back good, not as long in distance in no. general. We did get it out to the right by changing the weights, but do we want to make the weights and that be the reason why you're hitting it straight? No, I'd rather hit it straight because if Dave does my change his technique, made me hit it straight. Yeah, and like I say, if you're having lessons and you buy this driver because at the moment you're hitting it left, you have your lessons, you might have to move it back. How far do you move it back? Is it then the right shaft? And that's where you've got to think, how much money are you spending on golf clubs? Would it be better having a couple of lessons and then getting fitted for a practice. driver to make sure it's the right one for you? And to turn up to the range and actually practice what somebody's taught you. Yeah, which I haven't seen Dave here. Actually, he did come on Monday and I wasn't here. He had to text me and send me a picture to confirm that he was here. <laughs> so, so far, Dave's best driver is the TSR1. We are going to be using that now in Dave's videos. We are going to be trying to get that out on the golf course for him. We saw with the, you know, on the golf course, he wasn't as confident. Back in here, it is the best. Mm. Once the technique is grooving in as the season comes around, we'll start to see, hopefully, we're hitting more fairways, we're carrying more bunkers, and we're getting down to that nine handicap. Be good. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Comment below what other clubs. We know Wilson is a club you want me to get hold of. I am still trying. Nobody at Wilson seems to want to send me one. So I, I, on this occasion, it's not my fault. And we don't find many places that actually fit Wilson's, which is again a problem. Yeah. Which is the similar with Mizuno's. It's very rare that you can get yeah. hold of or test Mizuno's. I'm silly with Mizuno. Yeah, very much you have to go down to Surrey, which I did the other day for four hours. But comment below, what do you want to see? What clubs, what irons, what fairway was you want to see? What do we want to see that a mid-handicapper wants? I am looking, obviously, to get another mid, well, a mid, actually, it's a low handicapper on. So a four or five handicapper that on to test these. That could be the end of the season. It could be Dave, actually, at the end of the season. So we might have him as a 12-month special, <laughs> and then we'll get rid of him, give him the chop. So, guys, hope you've enjoyed that, and we'll see you again later in the week. See you soon.